That's good for you. Hey y'all. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. And afternoon for the East Coast people. And actually Central Time people as well are in the uh, afternoon. <laughs> Your left hand. Putting my rings back on. All right, so we, for anybody new here, we cannot see who is watching unless you leave comments. So um, you can comment Tap here. the button. Oh, Archibald, we've been Arch! missing you. Bring my cousin. <laughs> oh, and apparently you need to, if you're gonna use your phone, you need to have the app to leave comments at the oh, Arch. Yeah. Um, figured that out last week. Yeah. So you can't leave comments on. unless you're on the actual YouTube app or on your computer. I look cute in my brunch shirt, y'all. So <laughs> twins. I look cute. I'm about to go get the spices that we'll need real quick. Yeah, and I am sporting uh, my Tap Star shirt that I got from Neil Witte. It's an um, initiative of business he started to basically audit and evaluate um, periodically people who serve draft beer. And that is something that's important to me, uh, fresh beer, clean tap lines. So he audits people for that. And the business is called Tap Star and he is at in Witte, that's W-I-T-T-E on Twitter. So follow some, Mr. Master Cicerone, Neil Witte. Yeah, he's super smart, super humble. Someone asked me if we get sponsored. We ain't getting sponsored. These are just these our, are our homies. Friends. These are our <laughs> friends. And me and Tony are very strong believers that you promote your fucking friends. So we don't get paid for this shit. Yeah. And Neil, as far as, you know, the talking people about our there, friends and shit. The shirts and shit. We've paid for all of these. So. Cash money. Oh, so lipstick and lager is here tapping in again this week. Uh, She's a regular, and we appreciate her attendance on these. Lip, and lipstick lager. and lager. Lipstick lager is my babe. She's so sweet. I love when she gets sassy. I love when you get sassy, sis. Oh, Jamie and Dan are checking in Yay! from the car. So someone's someone's driving, I imagine, and someone's doing this YouTube. Yes, so Jamie. we are glad to have y'all in the room with us today. Those are my boos also. Thank y'all for coming. I appreciate y'all. Okay. So today we are making fried green tomatoes, which I haven't made, honestly, since I was like 22. Y'all not trying to, I'm not going to say how old I am. It's been a minute. Um, and we're also making salmon croquettes, which I grew up on. Like I used to have this like at least once a week. My spouse doesn't really like salmon, so we're going to try to change her mind today because we all know I could cook. So we're gonna start on that. Oh, and I did do the uh, the Cajun omelet. I did end up yeah, eating that. That's why I'm thinking that she'll like these. Well, Tony see. likes. Um, she prefers white fish, like on the milder side, and we all know salmon is very a strong flavor as far as fish goes. But I like catfish too. You do. That's that's pretty. But that's kind of like a white fish too. In my opinion. Yeah. Really? I think it's kind of more pungent than like a white fish or a, a tilapia or something. Well, it's so fucking boring. Well, you're gonna show us how to make unboring. I hate. I'm not gonna say I hate it, but I dislike. It. Yo, when she came home with these tomatoes, I'm like, what's wrong with these tomatoes? Why they ashy like that? Why they ashy? I got a whole toddler. But apparent, apparently these are green tomatoes, but they're not green. They're brown. So you can see how non-intuitive that is. My logical. I was unhappy with that. Yeah. Super logical. Okay. I'm sorry. I should have had the ingredients out. I was on CPT time. So we all know how that is. Um, so I want to get started first on the croquettes because the fried green tomatoes are gonna cook roughly fast. So, what you'll need for your salmon croquettes, let's pause. My mommy and my granny, when they do salmon croquettes, they use fresh salmon and they crinkle it up. However, 
when I went to the store to get said salmon, the shit was uh, almost 30 motherfucking dollars for a flat. I ain't paying that. I ain't paying that. And it wasn't even uh, wild caught. It was the farm raised shit. I ain't paying that. So we're going to go ahead and get into this uh, good old chicken of the sea. That's the brand I grew up on. When times were hard, the salmon croquette was made with this. It's fine. It's better if you use fresh salmon. <laughs> Your girl ain't paying that much goddamn money for a filet. I have, they to, got me um, up. I have to read the shade that Arch has drawn. I know he was. I he was like, when we was messaging an hour ago, I thought, ain't hey, she supposed to be prepping? I I tried to tell her, Arch, she, she didn't I miss miss me. I missed you. Because obviously I don't know shit, but I do remember that most of these, she be having the spices and shit already. She out. told me that. She's like, now she be having the stuff out. Let me have my process. You know, she she's the, the producer. I'm the cook. Let me do this. Actually, is that better? That's better. Is it? So Tony's job usually in the kitchen is to um, open shit. I need to open it now. Yeah. So we're going to do the salmon just so I can have it ready. Um, as far as what goes into the salmon croquettes, you want some kind of bell pepper, onion, surprise, surprise, and everything I cook. One egg. And you're going to also need breadcrumbs. Again, it's better if you do your own. I ain't doing it. So breadcrumbs are fine. Panko crumbs, though, are not going to work. Yeah, the panko crumbs are not going to work because they're too big. You want the really fine breadcrumbs. I've never made breadcrumbs. Y'all made breadcrumbs? I'm, I'm sure it's fairly easy, but it's thoroughly easy. Thoroughly, fairly. The shit is easy. <laughs> I'm not doing it. So there you have it. Oh, we got Paul on here. Uh, Midwest, Whoa. Midwest Paul, not UK Paul. What up, Paul? Paul is my boo. I love me some Paul. So rinsing off the produce, y'all. Rinse off your produce. Let me put it in the can. And Tony's gonna pair it. I'm in love with saison. Ooh, that is strong. We, do not have we don't have it. I feel like this song will go good with this, but I'm sure she'll she'll pair it with something. Where are you gonna pick this? I so is it to where you sure. can't open it at all, or can we do that later? And just open it? Well, no, it's not. I mean, it, you see how it's doing this jacket. You're gonna cut yourself. <sighs> Technical difficulties. And why, why don't you get the box the box cutter? Sorry, y'all. Anyway. Um, yeah, I'm on like the Saison kick, so to me, anything tastes great with fucking Saison. I also think maybe a tiny bomb, a lager, a lager might go good with this just because of the lagers. Um, we have uh, the Memphis Sands. I'm getting a beer as soon as I stop fucking with this. Uh, Tony about to get drunk, y'all. That's that's what that is. I'm not gonna be um, but yeah, I think something like I'm not a beer fancy person. Anything crisp, I think, would go really, really, really good with this just because the flavors are very bold. And I'm the type of person I don't like. I don't want one to overpower the other. I feel like you need like a palate cleanser. Am I saying that right? Type beer, if that makes sense, versus something heavy like a stout. Or right, what's the Abbey? Abbey is a Belgian double. A Belgian double. Yeah, that's too much. You need something a little... You know what I mean? A little lighter. So I'll say someone would not with this, but we don't have it. So I'm using um so I'm using red, yellow, and orange peppers. Green, I don't really like in salmon croquette, um, just because it's a little too mild. Uh the reg the other color ber berries. Bell peppers tend to be on the sweeter side, so that's why I like to use them preferably. But a bell pepper will work in a pinch. So I'm just gonna dice these up and then we'll mix it. I'm also gonna make um, a dipping sauce for these. Now, this is the first time me making a dipping sauce. I was trying to get the recipe out of my auntie. And y'all, the women in my family like me, we don't measure so Trying to get the recipe from her was a struggle, and I can't 
physically go over there and watch. That's how I learned how to cook. I just watched my mommy, my aunties, and my grannies because you ain't going to get a straight answer. When you ask how much it is, how much that, you got to sit there and watch the ass. And I can't do it. So I'm going to make my own dipping sauce based on what I remember how it tastes. That's usually how I mimic my family members' recipes. Because we don't measure shit. So. And you want to try to get these super small. Again, y'all know my knife skills aren't the best. Just get the shit little. That's that's the goal. You really struggling? Oh, it's yeah. There's a paper that got caught in here and it's stopping it from spinning. Tony is like super struggling with a sharp ass box cutter, and it's kind of making me nervous. No, I mean the. Some paper from, I guess, one of the cans uh, that you that we opened the previously got caught in this circle, so it was I it wasn't it, spinning. I don't know how to use a can opener. I wanted an electric one, so it wasn't turning like we got it going now. So I had to pick the the little paper label that got caught in there out. You want me to open both of these right yes. now? Mm -hmm. So yeah. Again, if y'all are just tuning in, she's so extra. Again, if y'all are tuning in, I'm not using fresh salmon because it costs too damn much out here. Your girl wasn't doing it, especially since I don't know if she's going to like these. So, yeah, they got me fucked up at the grocery store. But we're going to use chicken of the sea salmon. Mm -hmm. You're unstuck in it. Are you reading comments? I am reading comments now that I'm back in the game. You want to read any of them out loud? Oh, I'm trying to find <laughs> a, some of them are talking to each other. So uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, also, we have simply Miss Kira. Is that one of your YouTube Hi, people? Boo! That's my friend from Florida. She's so pretty. No, she's talking to Paul. That's my boo. <laughs> Paul says he's grabbing a beer. What, what you beer grabbing? are you getting, Paul? What are you getting ready to drink? I need a beer. Okay. Kira is my boo from YouTube. She flies. She got a fly ass channel. I be talking shit with her in instant messages. It has to go down sometimes. Sometimes I gotta get shit out, you know. And that's the homegirl. It is sometimes. I'm a lot better. I don't be cussing people out. On Facebook, I cuss people all the way out on um, what's the shit? Twitter, on Instagram, and uh, Facebook. I don't be going as hard. Well, the beer people are the ones you're. Yeah, because <laughs> them them motherfuckers is a whole different level of extra. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Oh, I Sorry I keep popping in and out. I like to clean as I go because I plan on having the itis and I'm not doing shit after this. So. All right, yeah, I'll, I'll be here. Jay has not checked in from 1999, Jamie. Jay! My cousin Jay is in the building. Oh, and Lipstick and Lager says we have inspired her to also grab a beer. And when Paul gets back with his beer, we'll be sure he'll tell us what are you drinking. Kira Boo, do you drink beer? I don't know if Kira drink beer. She said she wanted tequila. I heard the fuck out of that. That's why I fuck with you. That's exactly Badger what State you. Brewski Lager, Paul says he's drinking. Oh, I gotta get you. I gotta beer. get to the Midwest for a beer trip and taste uh that some of this shit. Fancy. I also wanna go it? to uh it's not I don't it doesn't sound like a style, but not just like the name of oh, beer. I was like, that's some new shit. I don't mean, know. But yeah, gathering place is somewhere I've also wanted to go. That's in Wisconsin, I believe. And they have a, a lager and friends thing. Oh, yeah. Lager's in the building. Lipstick and lager says she is drinking Castle Island lager. Ooh. So I think a lager would go really good with this. So I went, uh, depends the lager. Sure. You want something you clean, say crisp, so clean, yeah. hop forward is probably important to you. So I have the uh Oktoberfest Marizen. 
I, honestly, I'm enjoying the seasonal creep, <laughs> the Oktoberfest. Uh, but yeah, this one's from Wiseacre out of Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, any of y'all who know me know that's my hometown. Memphis. And Wiseacre, those are those are our friends. They're participating in the uh, Culture for the Kids backpack drive. And they did a school supply drive last year uh, with my mother, who was a teacher. So they've been they've been good to us on multiple fronts. So y'all, I'm just cutting up the onions. Y'all know I prefer um, a sweet onion. A yellow onion would also work. I would not do the white onion because that's a little bit too strong and overpowering. But a yellow or sweet onion will work. I'm an artist drinking a Mexican lager. I haven't been exposed to a lot of Mexican lagers. Cor it, Corona is the like run of the mill. Not that you know there's not better ones, but. If you want to compare it to a beer that a lot of people have drank okay. and tasted, that's considered a Mexican lager. I used to be my mama drink before I got married, and this one got into beer. Paul, who's newlyweds on here? They're congratulating some newlyweds. Who are they? John got married. Oh, congratulations, John. John got married. Um, John is on here. That's the homie. Congratulations. Yeah, congratulations to y'all. Spending time with us as <laughs> newly We love y'all. His wife is lit too. <laughs> I like her. So again, y'all just try to cut everything little. It don't have to be perfect. It don't have to be uniform. And shit just gotta be little because we make them croquettes. Little oh, patties. Isaac is uh is online. He doesn't have the app, but he is watching Isaac from hey, um, Isaac! Night Shift. Brewing. Night shit ha night shit. Wow. Night shift. My fault. Has a bomb system. What was it? A raspberry? Or was it a raspberry or a from night shift? Yeah. They had a pomegranate. Pomegram. Pomegranate. I say pomegranate on country. Pomegranate. Pomegram say so. And it was delicious. But yeah, he's on here. He says he is having um Polish lager from Notch. Oh, wow. Wow. Notch is dope, though. Right? Notch makes really good beer. Oh, Archie says he's a huge fan of Night Shift. Yeah. Us too. A little story beer. about um, Isaac and the other people. I'm going to embarrass him by saying nice shit about him in the middle of this YouTube. But I went to speak at CBC in 2019 on Dr. J's uh, diversity panel. For Kira and all my other YouTube friends, that's like a beer, that's some beer conference type shit. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm to speak on that conference. I was there looking like a scared motherless child, not knowing anybody, standing around looking crazy. And he pretty much walked up to me, he and all his folks from Night Shift, and they let me hang with them. And they, I've been following you on Twitter. You can come hang out with us. They're all nice. We went to stuff afterwards. They didn't mind me, you know, tagging along with them to some of the sessions. So I appreciate that. I felt less out of place being with him and, and the rest of his people. So shout out to Isaac for that. <laughs> Kira, really? What she that? said, girl, thanks for putting me on. I thought Tony was speaking Spanish. When she was <laughs> girl, try living with her. She, she the fancy beer person. Like, beer, she just beer me, but it's a whole different level. It says Night Shift pulled out of their Philly location. Night Shift was in Philly? I didn't know that. But... Oh, Arch says he's a bigger fan after hearing that story. Yeah, they're dope. Okay, y'all, so let me show you how little I got my damn <laughs> vegetables. So that's how little you want it. I'm heavy on vegetables. You don't have to use all this. I don't measure shit, so how many much. peppers were there? These okay. were mini peppers, so I just used one mini red, one mini yellow, and one mini orange, and I, I tend to go heavy on the onions because I'm an onion person, but so that's a measurement for the pepper. I don't measure shit. I be trying, y'all, but the shit is one crazy. unit. That's the measurement. <laughs> Measuring is irritating too. Paul says that good cooks never measure shit. Bon, thank you. We can eye shit and be like, that's too goddamn much. But Girl, April is writing a cookbook, and I'm sure the people are going to want her That's what's taking so damn long, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Or she measured accidentally. If you're using whole peppers and you count the peppers, that's a measurement. 
<laughs> Arch always talking shit, y'all. Like, really, he really is my coach. He told your ass to prep before That's we did husband. this. <laughs> and if you use um, the salmon in the can, drain it. I don't know if I have to say it. I, whatever. I don't know if people cook like that or not, but you don't want to. I do not cook like that. Just drain it. I think it's in water. Either way, drain the shit. Paul says, who has time to measure? Thank you. I'm going to keep my engineer opinions to myself. About this is why Tony is not sometimes allowed in the kitchen because she'll be like, what does that taste like? And how many do you use this? And it's like, I don't fucking know. Like, it they is were supposed it to be is. helping me study for my advanced Cicerone by letting me taste all her spices and shit. See, let me get a fork. You do not need a fork. I need a fork. Oh, I need a spoon. Also, I'm just mixing the veggies with the salmon. You don't want to break up. No, not yet. Let's break it down. You don't want to break up the salmon that much because you like, kind of like if you eat uh, crab cakes, you don't want it to be all mushy. You want to taste big chunks of the damn crab. So same concept. There was a place in Seattle when we went for your birthday called Blue Acre Seafood that had the biggest chunks Best of crab, crab in a crab had. cake that I've had. I think he did that because Tony told him it was my birthday because the cook actually came out. Yeah, it was your birthday. It was a milestone birthday. Yeah. Yeah, the chef did come out. I was like, you like this? I put a bunch of crab in yeah. that. I'm like, you came to the table to tell us how much crab you put in the crab cake. <laughs> that shit was bomb. But it was, yeah, that was, those were the best crab cakes that I had. And I think they gave those to us. Yeah, we didn't they tried us. Oh, Philly. Speaking of Philly, uh, I need to get back to Monk's Cafe out there. I went when I was early on my journey in beer, and I don't think – I think I feel like I would appreciate going there in a different way now than I did um, going before I really started studying and getting into beer. But they had everything. I got to try a bunch of different um, styles. Excuse me. They had an ice box on the menu, but I was too. Maybach. Ice box. I had to, I had to uh, pass on that when I was nervous about drinking, you know, 14% beer <laughs> by myself in a strange city and trying to walk back oh, to my hotel. True. I was going to talk to you. That's true. But yeah. That's true. Oh, Archie says his monks was his intro to sours. They have a very well curated uh, menu there, a beer menu. I don't really like sours except for, um, what's Brad's brewery? Urban Artifact. Yeah, they have a, um, a lim I think it's lemon lime sour. It's pretty goddamn good. Do we have another? We can show them. I don't know. I think I drank both of them. Me over here being a lightweight lush, I think I drank both of them. Okay, so what I'm going to season this with, um, my staple, the Creole seasoning, Obey. I really, I thought I bought some paprika, paprika, which is almost gone, and pepper. Oh, Isaac sent a text message saying the shout out was sweet and he was more than happy to hang with me that week, so... I'm apparently pretty cool, and he didn't feel like he had to babysit me. So, oh, I didn't drink it all. Thanks for that. There's one. Uh, so this is the um, lemon lime tart that April was talking about it's that really she liked long. from Urban Artifact. I don't really call spyglass sours. Like I don't. I to mean, me, most sours taste like that. You know, remember that candy sour head or lemon head? Don't nobody want to oh, drink no warhead warheads. Shit were the that sour. make it. You know, I don't like that shit. But that is, it's sour, but it's like a refreshing sour. That don't make no damn sense, but. It's good. more, it's more tart than sour. Yeah. Like if you know the difference between um, acetobacter and lactobacillus. Don't nobody pudding. know the difference between that yes, shit? Yes, some of these people do know that. Okay, people that not in beer know what the fuck you just said. But this is for everyone. I don't so know I'm what the fuck she just said. This is what I deal people. with, y'all. When you marry to an engineer, she talk. Like I don't know none of the like, shit you talking fuck? about with your mixing and cutting. What is it? What did you just say? I don't. Even, I can't even repeat it. Acido what? Acetobacter. It makes acetic acid. I'm gonna leave it at that, y'all. 
See, Art said half the audience got it. I'm part of the audience that don't know what the fuck she's talking about. That's the other half of y'all, I don't know what the fuck she said. See, Cody is there and he knows what I'm Cody! talking about. Cody <laughs> also makes a bomb set song. It's apricot. Bomb as fuck. That was my first. See, lipstick and lager. No. Don't don't I'm encourage her, y'all. No, to no, talk like a no. This is half my show. This ain't no damn lab. This ain't no damn lab. Like, no. You stick to your side. Some bullshit. I'm, I'm not yo. telling you about what you Such do. Such a do Don't nobody really know about my <laughs> beer shit. <laughs> also, if you knew here, we argue like that. So. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck she talking about, y'all, but she cute, so. Being able to explain it to lay persons in it is important. So this is the difference between sour and tart. So like kind of a, it's less mouth puckering and more tart like a, a yogurt, a Greek yogurt. See, now I can get with that. But you know, we have to have range here. Mm -mm. Damn, now she, Cody down. wasn't saying shit until I used them big words, and now he is participating. <laughs> until I use this big word. <laughs> y'all so stupid. I hate y'all. See, and he says good explanation. I hate y'all. Cody, don't Cody's saying I'm doing it don't right. Don't I'm doing it right. You're Cody. my friend. You're not you're Cody. My Cody does the sensory panel and groove, so he knows I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Sorry, I had to check. My mom texted me. My mom texts me because she feels like when I do these lives or cooking, if I don't do it right, I'm fucking embarrassing her. So she just texts me to make sure I had all the shit I need. She re-watches them later to critique, to, to critique. the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> In the first one she rewatched, she was like, damn, Tony, you did. why are you drinking that drink like that? I had a gin drink the first time, never ever yeah. again. She like, wait, call Tony Lush. But yeah. <laughs> And y'all yeah, already saw it, those of you who were on Twitter, what my mom said about me participating in that. <laughs> okay, so I have my dry ingredients mix. The recipe does call for mayo. Now, we're gonna pause again. I don't fuck with mayo on any, label, any label, uh, level. I don't like it on sandwiches. I don't like it in recipes. It's the fucking devil and the gateway to evil shit. I don't use it. So anytime there is a mayo recipe, I substitute for Greek yogurt. You can put mayo in it. That's y'all. We ain't eating that shit, okay? So I use Greek yogurt. You only need a little bit anyways. It's basically um, a binder, and we're also going to beat one egg. Mayo is fucking nasty, y'all. What does beat mean? Um, like scrambled eggs. Like when I just mix it really Yes. So do it like this. Yes. Miss <laughs> Kira puts her shocked face for the no mayo. Girl, it's nasty. I don't feel <laughs> it. There you have it, folks. What April feels about mayo. That shit is nasty. I can't get past the uh the smell. It's Paul smell. says, should he send you another mayo, Jeff? Stop playing, Paul. That shit is gross. I can't fuck with it. It's just nasty. It's a gateway. And Kristen says she she likes to substitute yogurt. So yes. Hi, Chris. I didn't even know she's on here. Hey, boo. I haven't seen her commenting yet. Yeah, but I don't. Mayo is just fucking nasty. Oh, she also commented above and says she sees why we need separate screams for Zoom now. Yes. First off, let's talk about that while I'm eating this damn egg. Put this My wife. Here. When we are on Zoom with our friends and shit, she's like a typewriter. She'll start in one place, and then as we talk, she keeps moving and fucking moving and fucking moving, trying to low-key hate and block my shine. That's how I feel. So when we are on Zoom with our friends, we use two separate fucking computers so I can have my space and she can have hers. She won't do typewriter shit. She also does that when we sleep, okay? Your girl be damn near out the bed and she be, you know, laid out like fucking Jesus in the bed. That's right. love that I deal with all that. Laid out like Jesus. I'm calling Granny right now and you're going to get popped she for, for making Jesus she metaphors. <laughs> Actually, that was a simile because you used the word like. So anyway, we're going to beat the egg. It's just one egg. It's making a bunch of noise. And then we're gonna um, put in the Greek yogurt and then we're rest to form the patties and fry them. 
Arch says making your own mayo is game changing. You want to elaborate on that, Archibald? I fuck with it. <laughs> I don't. I don't know how mayo is made. I'm not interested in learning. I don't want to get it out of the tank school, excuse me. But um, I do want Arch to uh, talk about how he does it at his house. See, Greek yogurt. That's the tart that you get from that. Yeah, that was a good example. Get April's face when someone mentions mayo. That shit is nasty, y'all. I don't see how y'all eat that shit. Cody says homemade mayo is much better. That's Guess you got mayo. something else to argue with him about besides the Lakers nuggets. Yes. <laughs> Cody is so sweet. Like, he doesn't... I like to talk shit when I uh, watch my sports. And Jesus. Cody is so, like, nice and sweet. It's hard to, like, fucking poke at him. I'm getting better. We're well, both he, getting better. He does talk shit, though. He talks shit, but it's still in a nice way. Yo, we we went to, I took April to the Lakers Nuggets game in uh, the Pepsi Center in Denver. Wow. He says the Nuggets are the mayo of basketball teams. <laughs> no, but who's really the mayo of basketball teams? Kudos. I, I like would that. say San Antonio is the wow. mayo of basketball <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, I took April to Lakers versus Nuggets back in February of this year in the Pepsi Center in Denver, and she and Cody texted talking shit to each other, and April was like, who is this dude with the dad bod that's <laughs> doing, like doing all these spin dad. moves? <laughs> he does not look like he should know how to play. Wow. I'm okay. just saying. Like a straight up He's lost some weight though. But anyway, so the Lakers won, right? And it was like a damn hike to get back to the car. Plus, it was snowing. So, like in my mind, I'm formula. Like you know how, like ladies, when you argue, you know in your mind what the fuck you gonna say before you say it. You gotta, you know, recap cliff notes of what the fuck you wanna say. So the whole time I'm walking to the car, I'm like, I'm gonna say this, that, and third. I get to the car. Cody gonna text good game. Just. Just stole my fucking thunder. Now you can't, I can't talk shit. I can't say nothing because he be a nice nurse game. You can't do that shit. <laughs> Jesus, why, why you have to do Cody like that on That's what you do when you talk shit. You're supposed to talk shit. He was supposed to be like, fuck the Lakers. I don't care if y'all lost. Why you gotta do him it. like this he on the YouTube live? I love but Cody. But we like Cody. I love Cody. <laughs> but I wanted him to be like, fuck the Lakers. I'm gonna be like, fuck your team. But I couldn't do that because he was like, <laughs> Well, Cody says that loss still stings. That was a good that game. That was a good game. Went to overtime. I Are will say every time the Lakers and, and Denver plays, it's a good fucking game. It's not a blowout either way. They had one this week too, didn't they? Yeah, and it was a fucking good game. I enjoy the game. All but right. My wife loves basketball more than any other sports. Uh, she's a huge Laker fan. My dad loves Die her for this Laker reason. Fan. Um, one of my groomsmen at my wedding is from Boston, so he's a Celtics fan, and they do everything short of talking about each other's mamas on Facebook I love when mama. they talk about <laughs> sports. So, yeah. I am talking about sports and beer because I don't know how to cook. Funny story for those of you who are not on Twitter with us. I told my mom that April and I are going to be cooking on YouTube live <laughs> tomorrow. And she said, stop saying that we should April is cooking before you poison somebody. And I'm like, uh, well, I guess I am drinking oh, you don't know how and talking to the people. When but I first she, met her, she was like, oh, I'm from Memphis. I was like, cool. We can be in the kitchen together. We can be. Jesus. Oh, bad. Sorry. <laughs> we can be in the kitchen together. We could be, you know, like, no. She tried to make me eggs one time, and she didn't know she needed butter. I called my yeah. grandma, and she talked about Fucked me up so my bad. Pen, she said I was embarrassing her. So Fucked up my pen. That was a good pen we put up. I mean, we bought other pens. I know, but that it stings. It stings. <laughs> Just shut up, Art. She said, we know you don't know how to cook. You ask what beating an egg is. <laughs> right? <laughs> I don't know, but we got actual people who cook who think chicken legs or drumettes are chicken legs. Wow, the shade, right? I'm going to say who did that. But anyway, <laughs> so this is what the consistency looks like. 
you want it wet again that was one egg and two two and a half dollops of uh, greek yogurt and now i'm going to form them i get gloves because i'm just pressing i don't like my hands get dirty i'm mad you put your wedding ring off for this <laughs> i normally um as long as i have the gloves on i don't really trick it's not gonna be dirty I mean, you probably want to protect your nails also, but yeah. I, yeah, I wouldn't be having on rings and shit. Like I'm prissy, y'all. Also, I got to get my pan ready. You want to try to use a non-stick skillet or a cast iron. We left my cast iron, so we're still shopping for that. I want a whole set when we get them, and I got to bake them in oil and we want to extra shit. So I'm going to use a non-stick, but cast iron is always the standard if you don't have that non-stick. I'm with you, Paul. I don't like when shit gets under the wedding ring. I get rashes and shit on my finger. So I pretty much only wear it if I'm leaving the house. April knows we're married to each other and she's the only person in here. Unless I'm going out, I don't put it on. She a lie, y'all. She she try not to claim me in public. She be forgetting. Yeah, but getting she on you on YouTube live with you. <laughs> I forgot my ring. <clears throat> Damn, that old babe fucked me all the way. And then the little statement. <laughs> oh, my bad, y'all. I forgot to do the uh, damn bread. Oh, my fault. See, that's what happens when you don't press It's like y'all fault fucking with y'all talking shit. You should have just let me do the talking, but you wanted to critique my explanation of I needed to. So different microorganisms used for fermentation. Don't know what the fuck that means. You wanted to spend time in doing Tony's that head, everyone got a goddamn this. master's degree in engineering. When we were dating, and you know, you're trying to be like, oh, I'm gonna be like good and shit. Like she would be talking. I don't know what the fuck she used to be talking about. I'm gonna be all the way 100. I would sit there, smile, and nod. I didn't know what the fuck she was talking about. It worked though, cause I got too many. But I mean, you acted like this group of people didn't know what I was talking about. A lot and they of them did. don't. Half the group did, and we have to have range on this Whatever. show. Y'all stop encouraging that shit too. Why? We don't need on that shit. Who's we? <laughs> the other, the other not the other non-beer people. But you doing stuff for the non-beer people? Why you always gotta argue me? It's always a thing you have to have last. You're not letting me be myself. <laughs> <laughs> My fault, babe. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> April doesn't let me be myself. I think this is like a cup. We're going to say a cup of breadcrumbs. Girl. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sprinkle one more time, but I'm guessing that's a cup. You know how much a cup is? Yeah. I have a measuring thing. No, yesterday, you want to know what she did the other day? She was making brownies, and she's like, what the hell is one-fourth of a cup? How do you even measure that? I'm like, you got the measuring. I don't have a measuring cup like that. I'm like, girl, use the scoop ones. They say a fourth, a third, a half. (laughs) The box directions are stupid as fuck, because I don't don't bake. I'm just saying you need a little bit of fucking oil. I know what that is. I know what that looks like. One fourth the fucking cup. Get the fuck she out. She talking about she don't know how to measure. She don't have anything to measure out. that. And it, we have a and seven. Truth be told, I was like, fuck the directions because it sounded nasty. They said use a whole bunch of motherfucking oil, which is gross. So I just melted some butter. Then they was like, use water. So I just used butter. And the shit is bomb. It was you bomb. said you put milk in there. I used, yeah, instead of the water. Who the well, fuck you said water. water. I, it said oil, and I don't like using oil like that, so I just melted a whole stick of butter. No, you said butter twice. You didn't mention milk. I melted a stick of butter, and I used motherfucking milk, because why the fuck would I use water? That just sounds gross. Maybe I should do the baking. Maybe I should You should. Here. You be Who's interested shit? in me baking shit? Because I can measure things. <laughs> mm. I can measure things. I think I'm going to bake you should do that. See, Arch said he's never eating your baking. First of all, Arch, they came out bomb as fuck, and I put walnuts in them. It was bomb. Trust me. They was bomb. You needed supervision because you was like, how? The measuring cup doesn't show one. She was more. stupid. I she tried to get the glass measuring cup to do the, a two cup size measuring cup to measure a quarter of a cup. Were they not? Were they good though? 
No, I found you the scoop one. Well, That's why good. it was good. I just didn't <laughs> use what they told me to fucking use because, like, fuck your uh, instructions. <laughs> were they good? They were bomb. Lipstick and Lager says, I'd be great at baking. So maybe she maybe would. that's something to come. She would. I think that's enough for her. Matter of fact, let me just see. Archie one says one yes. Get on that. So maybe we can do a. Um, and we're done. Maybe we can do a once in quarter evening with yeah. with us. She can do I a dinner a and I can do dessert. That shit is. And also, I am gonna make a mess. If, if I'm yes, the fuck. <laughs> <you are. laughs> maybe we can get some dessert beers. <laughs> You know your aunt, your auntie, auntie Raleen's, um coffee cake goes really well with uh, Dr. Bob. I think it would go good with a stout. It would. I don't. I don't think it would. It goes bad with that either. I think both beers pair. And you're probably once you know what a beer is, you're better at doing the pairing anyway because you cook. Yeah. So maybe we do. You know, a, a longer session one evening. Once a quarter, not too, not too often. I'm not cleaning up after you, so if you do that, you got to clean. She gonna make. You cook, one. I bake. You know, we people that don't cook think they like need a, to use every goddamn dish, pot, pan, utensil in damn kitchen. That's this one. Uh, uh I think this is one of your homegirls. Vividly, Nini says she's stopping by to say hello. Hi, babe. It is. What's good, boo boo? Yeah, I know all the beer people, so if it's somebody I don't know, I assume they're from the YouTube side of your, your life. Yes. But hi, Nini. It's nice to, uh, nice to meet Thank you. Thank you so much for Thanks coming, for Mama. In. But yeah, I'm thinking like a, a three course meal. You can do like appetizer and, and entree, and She's I can so extra right right now. and then I can pair each. That's one. the size I like. What you three course meal? That's a lot all of the place, girl. That's no, it's not. You just doing the. You be making appetizers anyway. I don't do that all the time. That's no, but that's why I'm saying once a quarter. That's like some Christmas shit. Once um, a quarter. That's once every three months you do an appetizer shit. entree, and I will decide to do a dessert. So you just sign me up to cook two courses. Or maybe I'll do the appetizer. Nah, I'm not eating your cooking. <laughs> then get out. That is not going to happen. I'm going to do my <laughs> baking without her because she's fucking rude. <laughs> Mm. April is I am rude. not eating your motherfucking food. Tracy <laughs> <laughs> making apps. She used to be so. She used to make these things. I remember our first Christmas together. She made appetite. She made these little homemade baby pizza bites and pigs in a blanket. Then she served steak and lobster and a bunch of other stuff. And she made like these little baby apple tarts for a uh, dessert. She used to do this all the time. <laughs> it's been a minute. I might. She said, I did too. Then y'all get spoiled. I mean, she. Girl! You see how she's signing me up for shit? You can, we can do a three course meal. Like, well, I mean, maybe we do fermented apps. Maybe I do a cheese and, cheese and fruit pairing. That'd be good. Then, see, see, look how you was acting. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's just chopping. I can chop. Shit. You uh, what's up, Deja? Horses. Hi, Deja! Deja's the homie. That's our, but we ain't seen Deja in a minute. See, Tish says she uh, she gonna cook for me until you until you act right, girl. I'll ship her to you. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> no, I'm going to get them shrimp and grits with scallops and shit in there. <laughs> yeah, Tish, uh, shrimp and grits came out looking beautiful. You'll take that. Yeah, I'm sure as soon as they cut me loose out here, I'm. I'm coming my ass to St. Pete. Yes, in Duke. We can lock these That's two fucking boo. Aquariuses up together in here and they can do Aquarius shit. All kind shit. of shade. All kind of shade. <laughs> they can do Aquarius this stuff. This actually going to make a lot. <laughs> now, how do you eat these? Is it uh, finger food or you chop? I pick them up. I'm, I'm not fancy like oh, that. Oh, Amy says grits are her love language. Yes, girl. Oh, you can go. You can go back and see the old video. We cook yes. shrimp and grits on, or April, according to Mama. I should stop saying shrimp. We should. April made shrimp and grits on the first one of these that we did. So that's in there. 
I love grits. And they, they have to be creamy. I don't, if I see a lump in a grit, that shit is so disrespectful and it just fucks up my whole vibe. <laughs> All right, freaking lover. We won't use your government no more. <laughs> but like you mean, they just got stalkers. You can, I'm sorry. Look at you. Fucking up. The homie got stalkers. So she like, I mean, to be but we are with April is making salmon croquettes and uh, fried green tomatoes right now. So uh, Nini is also an Aquarius. We can lock her ass. Hey, with you and Gooch. she's such a fucking hater. Send CJ's ass up in here too. <laughs> the bomb is signed. So you guys just like a little patty. That's the size you want. You can really do any size you want, but like Tony said, you want to pick them up, so you want to keep them on the small side. In Archie Archie says no lumps but extra shrimp tails. <laughs> First of all, <laughs> shrimp tails in meals, in my opinion, are so damn lazy. Like, are the shit. tails edible? Someone told me on Twitter that they were. I don't give someone a on Twitter. That shit is nasty. <laughs> if I'm eating your food and I have to fucking uh, take shit apart, unless it's like crab, that's just lazy. Take that shit off. What what is? I would have got in the kitchen, took that shit off for you. If the Meal is done. I want my food done. I want to eat what's on my plate. I don't want to shit off my plate. Uh, Nini April is a February Aquarius. Her birthday is February 1st. And Rona need to get the fuck on before February because I celebrate the entire goddamn month. You already had a birthday. Like, I'm going to miss my birthday. We talking about me right now. Why are you always, every time I'm talking about me, you got to swerve in my shit and then turn You don't want made me come to this. Damn. That's why you got beer you people. You made me come over here. <laughs> your own people trying to block your damn shine. What is we? Okay, so I did form all the patties, and now I'm just going to get the uh, skillet ready with the oil. Oh, you had this pan. I'm going to tell y'all what I thought. She did this shit. I thought we was going to bake it. I didn't know what she was getting ready to do. I thought this, this is a baking sheet. I thought this was going in the oven, and apparently it is not. I am a Libra, Kira. Girl, decision making takes 10 years. See, Tish agrees with me. Our birthdays is canceled. Your ass is canceled. Yeah. This girl got to go to a Laker game and also a USC game, you know, uh, away games in Colorado right before this pandemic. So she got that. Good what me? So I can't do that? So you, you were taken care of during this That's shitty year of 2020. I'm celebrating the whole goddamn month. I lied. I'm Libra not. Libra gang. It's Libra gang. People on here. Lipstick lager. Lipstick Arch, lager. Libra. Jamie. Or, ha! Or. <laughs> so basically, y'all, I lied. Um, I'm not using oil. Unless, when I do my fried green tomatoes, I use oil. For my salmon croquettes, I use a shitload of butter because it tastes better. I'll try so, because the lighting is. Uh, yeah, I just use two dollops. I don't know if you can see it of butter. Right. You were supposed to go to Bahrain. That's a hell of a trip. Fuck is Bahrain? Where is that? <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? We're gonna, we gonna get April the map. But, um, yeah. But you just not going to answer me. Regan Lover um, makes it taste better. Said butter makes it taste better. Yes, it does. Amy says no cancers in the house. Uh, oh, see, now you got everybody doing their, their signs. Oh Tish is the Taurus oh all day. But she says she likes Libra, so, you know. Y'all motherfuckers are so annoying. Her. No, we are not. Gemini's, Libras, and Leo's. I feel like you made that up. Like, what, what no. the other two signs? My my research shows. But I'm surrounded by them. And I love the ones I love, but they're <laughs> Oh, Nini is answering your question instead of you making you look at the map. But Bahrain is in the Middle Thank East. You. 
uh, she says her husband is stationed there and okay. it's a short trip to Dubai. So she was really? gonna go over there and get to Dubai. I'm which is jealous. actually a dope trip. Yeah. That's on my bucket list. And see, thank you for answering because this one act like she didn't fucking hear me. But you talked but, when I talked when I uh, talked about other stuff, you was un unhappy with that. So that's dope, sis. And I know I bet you can get some bomb ass spices. Yeah. Like I'm so jealous of you. Like I want to go to a place like that just to buy a goddamn spice. Can you bring that shit back? I mean, it depends how much stuff is worth when you go through customs and you have to declare. Most of the time, I feel like people just press, no, I don't have anything. Cause I you would do that the, shit. Because I, I would sign I would you up. For, uh, I got global entry from working with all that travel. I made uh, the company pay for that shit. So you don't have to go through. You just click the boxes and they don't bother you when you come back. She fancy. Meanwhile, I get randomly fucking searched every goddamn where I go. So. Well, it depends where you go. I get randomly searched when I go to Wichita, Kansas, because they're fucking racist. They no black people. I went there like six times in. in I did one, too when I went <laughs> in and out of that six times in one month, and I was randomly selected for additional screening every single time with TSA pre-check with all of it. Wow, really, Nene? <laughs> she said her her friend brought a, a wooden turtle. Because there's a line you got to go through. Like, if you got shit or you've been in contact with livestock or animals from out the country. She said her friend brought a wooden turtle in Jamaica. And when she came back, the person didn't read the thing. Or they just saw a turtle and put her in the livestock line. Damn. <laughs> but it was a pretend wooden one. Regan Lover says, always get searched at airports. It's weird. And, and then, first of all, what pissed me off is they'll always make you step aside. Like, oh, I'm only going to check the parts that lit up. Yeah, bitch, it's my cookie and my tits. Like, that ain't a fucking, you know, those aren't private fucking areas. Like, I'm just going to touch you there. Like, get the fuck. Uh, Tish said douche don't feed her and make sure that- Douche don't and yeah, he does. He grills and shit. He grills and smokes shit. And she says, make sure the edges of her salmon croquettes are crisp. I like it that way too. Kristen, I'm not good at emoji. What is that? What's that emoji? <laughs> or anybody who knows what that symbol is? I don't know. I don't know that symbol. That shit is annoying. The only place. That does not, you know, give a fuck about what you have on you is LAX. You can go in LAX with an AK forty fucking seven, some coke, and a block of fucking uh, weed, and then motherfuckers will not care. There was a study done care. a few years ago. I'm sure it is an astrological sign. I don't know which one it is. Um, referencing the emoji in the comments that Kristen put, but I there was a study done a few years ago that said that folks, you know, were paid or there was a study that for people to go through the security with contraband and and weapons and stuff to try to see if it would be caught and like 98 percent of the time they got through security with, with, that, with all that shit because they don't care <laughs> first off it'd be 1700 tsa fucking a, uh, agents if you flirt with the dude you'll really fuck their head up and distract them i have a homegirl every time she travels my homegirl bring weed and I'm not talking about a dime bag. My homegirl brings weed weed to share wherever she going. She ain't never fucking got caught. That's a goddamn shame. See, yeah. I know, right? The Arch said the feds was watching us now. <laughs> LAX don't give a fuck. Yeah, and it says that's why people are in LA are so chill. <clears throat> Kristen says this is the sign for Capricorn. Oh, so she's okay. a winter individual. The Arch says TSA is security theater. <laughs> they don't be doing shit. They don't be doing shit but talking every goddamn airport. I'm not hating, but it's like, it'd be 15 of them motherfuckers in each line. All right, the homie Reek and Lover says, what's the beer of the day to accompany the salmon croquettes? Yeah, I um, you. I'm thinking that the fish is, I think a safe zone would pair well with this. April also agrees with that, um, or I agree with April. I think she was the first person to say it out loud on here. Um, I We don't have that, so that's not going to gonna work. I think maybe a highly carbonated, maybe Belgian golden ale would also work. You know, the carbonation would cut through the fat 
and also the the esters and a lot of Belgian beers I think would go good with April's cooking because she uses a lot of spices and that would create an affinity with the spicy characteristic of Belgian yeast. So those are my two my fancy <coughs> ass wife, <Jesus>. y'all. <laughs> I'm just cutting up the tomatoes. Oh, Tish says I'm not drunk enough and she didn't come here for this shit. She right, she giving educational <laughs> classes and shit. <laughs> I, I'm not drunk enough. The Tish want me to, to slur my words and shit and look like another certain uh, Shut up. beer Twitter Shut up. individual. Stop being messy. Archie said, I haven't seen Get Out, so maybe I gotta watch that. You maybe. do. And I can say so much. Onidi oh, says she never got into beer. She needs to grow up. Well, beer, what I will say for beer is there's one for everybody. Yeah. You just got to find one that works for you, and you can approach beer from beverages that you already like. And first off, Nini, if you from where I'm from, they don't give us good beer in the hood because they think black people can't afford it. They give us shit beer. <laughs> so no, no. don't feel bad. If you grew up where I grew up. Arch and Tish said I'm messy. You said you wanted to tell me, Johnny. Messy as fuck. You want me to shit. I'm doing this without being drunk, Tish. So you want this Tony or fucking a drunk, drunk Tony? Who would have who would have named names on here? <laughs> you try Budweiser? Yeah, I don't think anybody, any of the beer people here would recommend that as a gateway beer. <laughs> See, okay, me and Nene, we got to talk later. My granddaddy used to work for Budweiser, so it was always in our house, and me being grown. I literally, um, that was my first beer and it tastes like piss. So that's why I was like, beer is fucking nasty. So I feel you. <laughs> I just got called messy on here. Cause you are messy. Maybe, maybe I should be more messy for the entertainment value. Cause people comment real quick about that one. Yeah. But Kira, what do you like to drink? Maybe we can find you something approachable. Oh, so Rican Lover likes Corona. And she would like um yeah lagers. she would like some lagers um I think Pilsner would be good for you if you like Coronas um there's Mexican lagers too any anything that's labeled as a Mexican lager should be on par with that um I remember the last time I saw you which was years ago that you said you like IPA so it's plenty of them now you live in California with us <laughs> you got plenty of them. Yeah, I, Tish agreed. I mean, that's the beer my mama drank. Um, I and so she started drinking IPAs and she she bougie now. Um, but yeah, I Corona was my gateway beer. Oh, Reek and Lover said she coming over here so we can teach her about beer. That's what's up. She maybe maybe she can be a a guest a guest. She can be up on the line. She can but... come up on here and be Who a guest. Who used to drink the... Blue Moon? I used to drink blue moons and I used to cut like um, some orange. I thought I was fancy, y'all. Like that was my shit. Mm -hmm. The real deal, domestically made version of that beer is probably Allagash White. <laughs> she says she likes tequila. That's what's up. So do I. I mean, uh, there's a lot of beers that are ending up aged in tequila barrels. I'll do some research for you. I'll have April get back to you on what. Um, I'm not a huge barrel age fan or, or beer cocktail person, but I know I can um, find something for you, and I think I, I can get April to, to send it out to you. That's kind of her thing. You should never even told her. She's going to come back for like eight beers for you. Blue moves with the orange. That girl, I thought I was fancy as fuck, okay? And I had me a nice little cute glass. Kristen, are you a home brewer or do you brew professionally? Yeah, uh, lipstick and lager, I would agree. Goza is, uh, yeah, you have the citrus salt. Some people, you want a well-made one. If it tastes salty, that that one's not good. And it, they didn't do it correctly, but... Paul says goza and tequila are like peas and carrots. I'm guessing they go together. I have to try it. Ahead. 
she said no seawater tasting goes up in here. You know people do that shit and sell it like it's <laughs> she said goose get you loose. <laughs> No, that's Kira that said that. Kira's my book. Uh, Regan Lover says IPAs and Mexican beers. It's plenty IPAs out here. Um, I know Hen House in the Bay Area likes the makes good IPAs as well. Kristen owns a brew pub. Why, why we didn't know this? <laughs> Just her and her husband doing everything. That's what's up. So she doesn't get to go in the brew house, but he had surgery and couldn't lift. So she grew this Goza. That's what's up, Christian. What? Maybe we got we got hit up, Kristen, and visit the brew pub. Okay, so I cook my croquettes, especially when I do it in butter on a low heat, um, just because you don't want the butter to turn brown. That's a whole different flavor set. So that's why I'm taking a little long. They're almost done. I have to do it in two sets because I didn't know it was gonna make too much. I've already cut my tomatoes. And now we're going to work on the dipping, the dredging part. That's what's called dredging. What does that mean? And also, um, y'all strain y'all damn fried foods. Don't nobody want greasy shit. Just get a plate, put a good old paper towel, let that shit drain before you eat it. Dredging, um, so the batter will stick. Usually eggs and milk. That. It's dredge. So I imagine dredging is a verb, but oh, no. oh, you like golden road? You might piss some people off in here saying golden road, but Wolf Pup Session IPA is amazing. Have I tried that one? Yeah, I like it too. I like sessionable beers as well. I mean, you can drink more of them. They're not a huge um, the huge deal. My mom's favorite IPA is actually Lagunitas, which is another thing that's quote unquote big beer. But I do like that Golden Road IPA. I do. Um, Hen House makes good IPAs in California. Um, who else has IPAs? Highland Park has some IPAs. Once this shit is over, you and I will go do beer crawl. There's some Ooh, good hey. idea. Reekin' lover. Yeah. She said don't use a government name. It's my photo. <clears throat> so I'm using the Creole seasoning, one egg, and some milk for the batter. Dredging for the um, green tomatoes. Okay. I'm getting another beer that's uh, chicken fried rice. For not being a and my mother gonna talk about you for being drunk. I'm not drunk. I'm, I'm having a second beer. Another she wise get all kind of messy. I can. I this is Memphis Sands. I remember I was drunk one one time, and it has this like topographic map <laughs> of uh, of sand, how water is filtered. So I stared at that for a good ten minutes one time, and when I had had a couple of extra ones. But, it's a nice lager that I'm gonna drink. I wanna try that. I'll pour this in a minute. Look at that. I'm not gonna make a lot of tomatoes because she won't even try them. I might try them depending on how much beer I have. Look at that. Oh, uh, and for everybody who doesn't know, I'm on the board of directors for Beer Culture also, and Kristen's Brew Pub is doing a headphone drive for the for our Culture for the Kids um, back to school drive. Um, that's something that we're doing. I'll plug that here right now. Uh, any beer-related retailers or breweries, retail stores, uh, we're asking them to partner with us and act as drop-off locations for school supplies for people going back to school. Um, Chris's Brew Pub is doing headphones because a lot of people are doing virtual uh, uh, school. So shout out to Kristen and her Brew Pub for participating in this. I mean, the more people we have participating across the uh, country, the more we can help the community and the kids get back to school with everything that they need. Oh. <sighs> 
hit us with the Tony's Creole one more time. Oh, you need to see it? No. Oh. Also for the dredging, I use a mix of corn star, um, yeah, corn, sorry, corn meal and breadcrumbs. But this is the brand I always use for my grits for everything. It's what granny use. For your grits? No, they have a, this brand makes grits. Oh, I'm like, you, you're making grits yourself? Corn. <laughs> Oh, so Tish says she's drinking Culture Chronicles, and I am in culture. fact, in fact, jealous. The board, the board members of Culture are, are speaking, y'all. The board, yeah, I'm being extra. The board members. See, Tish has complimented my head. You did not appreciate it. Kira, when they say it. head, boo boo, they're talking about uh, the foam oh, on yeah. top of beer. For the non, for the non beer, I gotta people, say that April and I are not swingers. The head is the foam part. Ain't of the no top head of the beer. in this house. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta clarify that shit. But yeah, I am. I am not a swinger, and I also don't want to be divorced. <laughs> Oh, Jeb is on the line. Hey, Jeb. Jeb, Jeb is my friend too. You don't make sure you don't. <laughs> Kira is is laughing at my swingers comment, but you know I, I just had to let that be known. She was like, "Yeah, the head, the head, yeah, and no. the head." <laughs> well, you did not appreciate the head on this beer. You just drunk. It. Sorry, I don't really appreciate. It. Girl. Let's be that that is not a lesbian <laughs> job. <laughs> People that don't sit. Oh, Jeb. Jeb says he actually fucking woke up and activated in time. That's what's up. That's the homie we homie. appreciate you coming we do appreciate through, you. Jeb. You know, we'll get to Chicago one of these days once they... We're going back for the taste. Shit. Jeb, do you go to the taste, the Chicago? My greedy ass is going back to that. I've been a few times. Uh, that was also one of the vacations April and I took on earlier earlier on in our relationship. Yeah. I'm very spoiled, y'all. My my boo takes me on trips for my birthday. Well, she normally did when we was, when we was free. <laughs> Tish said you jealous that I love her more. <laughs> You'll ship her right back. Return to cinder. I she promise said. you within 24 hours. <laughs> it'll be returned to cinder. Oh, I got you, uh, Regan Lover. We'll 100% go through beer, and, and we'll do the primer, and we'll do the beer festival. We'll do we'll do all yeah. of it together. You know, I'm on my activism shit in the community, but introducing people to beer is kind of they have a lot of beer do. fests. Are they used to like in Long Beach and shit? It's really nice. But yeah, uh, yeah, we we will link. We'll talk beer. We'll talk about pouring. I'll speak on how to pour beer. Uh, I, I would have explained that one if I had known there was interest. But but yeah, I'll I'll speak to that the next time on how to properly pour beer from a can into your glass the next Sunday brunch. And Kristen actually is very uh very thoughtful in her headphone drive. Yeah, that's smart. Because a lot of people are doing virtual school, and I can imagine, you know, I have seven brothers. I can imagine sitting in there and people playing different fucking videos of different, I would have to punch one of them in the face. So headphones are good for virtual school, especially you got siblings that are also going to do it virtually. <laughs> Shira says there's a certain way you got to pour. I mean, you don't have Girl. to. <laughs> Girl. Okay. And then people look at me crazy when I drink out the damn bottle or the can. Like, I don't give a fuck. If I'm going to drink, I'm going to drink. But for fancier, you know, when you get into beer, they like to smell. It enha does it enhance the taste and shit? Like, is that? Well, so, uh, do you ahead. want me to explain it or no? I don't want to hear none of your shit if you ask me to explain You always going to hear my shit. Don't so. want to hear it. But um, a lot of the aroma compounds in beer are volatile, which means they're fleeting. They evaporate out and they dissipate 
fairly quickly. So you have to pour it, swirl it up. So you get those and you have to smell it right away. And that adds to your experience of beer. Most of beer is, uh, the, most of the flavor is aroma. Flavor is a combination of aroma and taste, but there's only five tastes. You know, sweet, salty, bitter, sour, and something called umami, which is savory. Those are the only things that you perceive through your tongue. The rest is through your nose. So if something tastes or smells like cinnamon or, you know, it just smells like cabbage, that those are all aromas when you perceive as flavor. They go together. So a lot of it comes from the aroma. So you want to make sure you don't lose that when you're really trying to enjoy a beer. Here. So when the boo thing first start getting into beer, she would like get a cup and she would smell the shit. She got so much in the habit, I poured her some fucking water and she went, and I was like, are you fucking smelling the water? Like that's how serious and how deep it went. Well, when you study, you get into get a tasting mode. But shit. another thing fucking is that she poured this water. much. So usually when you sample beer, you get a small amount. So in my head, I'm like, oh, a little swirl. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is you sniffing your glass for? Like, I didn't get it. Well, I had to, at, at my last job, when I worked at the brewery, at sensory panel, we had to sample the water and we had to do that. That shit's kind of, I because the water puts like so much into your, beer. beer is mostly water. Uh, and that's how you guys want to pat it. I'm sorry, I've been letting y'all talk about beer. Or y'all been talking about beer and interrupt. Um, I like to pat mine a little bit because I'm a skin girl. Um, and I don't want it to lose the coating. So I'm going to go ahead and fry these now. You can go ahead, babe. I just wanted to. Oh, Kristen says she smells empty glasses after she rinses them. Yeah, because I said you want to make sure they clean and shit. She was fucking smelling. I'm like, what the fuck are you smelling it for? Yeah, and lipstick and lager says chemical composition of water changes so much. Yeah, it plays a lot into... Uh, into the beer, especially different compounds. And it's not necessarily that you taste the water, but the water, uh, there are reactions between the water and some of the compounds that you add to it to create beer that can um, create some non-appetizing flavors that you don't want. Kira says she feels like she was just part of beer tasting class. <laughs> For real, for real. Oh, Regan Lover said that she wanted us to explain. Here, girl, they got certain glasses that go with certain beer and shit. Um, you can't wash your glass with, like, Dawn and shit. Like, it's a problem. She, like, low-key drop kicked me when she saw me cleaning her glasses with regular fucking uh, dish detergent. Well, if it's oil-based, um, it's, it's going to um, cause poor head retention, so... Too easy. I can say some shit. You're gonna behave yourself on here. Tish says we need to have a cartoonist do April's facial expressions while I'm talking about beer. Uh, Amy says during their wedding vows that they promise to share all rare beers and um, pour them in the proper glassware. That was so cute. I just like fancy glasses, so. If they got one of the stems and shit, it's like, I'm going to use it. I don't care. Well, but Tish like that stem shit, that fucking tanky yeah. glass. Tish fancy like me. You got to be fancy and be cute with your glasses and shit. Especially if you're going to do pictures, you got to be cute on everything. You got to be cute. I'm cute. You are very cute. Oh, Tish, I was going to think I missed something. She said she wants to see the crush. I'm like, well, excuse me? <laughs> But she wants to see the crust you on see the me? tomato. That's both our crush. <laughs> on a Sunday. She says she's trying to see the, the, the crust on the tomatoes. Oh, okay. Let me pat them in again. Yeah, I like a lot of crust. So I pat in my cornmeal. I want some crust crust when they're done. Oh, Reek and Lover says she remembers when you washed my cup and I was unhappy with that. <sighs> Girl. And it was the stare you up and down, pause type shit. Like, I was supposed to know. Kira, head is the foam part. The foam part the beer, of the beer. At the top. Mm -hmm. Girl, I could. I'm going to not be nasty. I'm going to DM you after this. But, yeah, I'm going to not be nasty. But the 
it's like the when I pour, I don't know if you saw when I poured this beer, uh, Kira, but the white part at the top that was foamy, that's considered the head. <laughs> you you started this discussion. I didn't do that. April doesn't behave herself. But yeah, this is this is one of my uh, my mom actually likes this beer too. Uh, she she loves Wiseacre. My mom, mom is unlike me. I love lagers. Mom likes anything that's hop forward, which is why it surprises me that she likes this. This is a very malt forward beer. Um, she likes Pilsners. Um, she likes uh, IPA. She loves IPAs. Ananda at Wiseacre is one of her favorites. She uh, drinks more like you. Your mom likes um, Pilsner a lot. She's drinking Bex and Stella, so she likes lagers mm -hmm. and stuff. But mom is in love with Inside Job from Penthouse Brewing. She even checked the can on date, y'all, and said, "Ooh, this is fresh." So she, mom, is my favorite IPA lover. I wish we didn't have a pandemic going on. We would be doing beer fest and stuff together. She hangs pretty tough with me loving beer fest and, and uh, football, all the shit that I do besides shopping. She and, she and April, that's my that area. That's where we bond. But my mom will tell me to tell Tony, um, bring over the fancy beer. She don't know what the fuck Tony brings her, but every time Tony brings her beer, see like Tish, it. you see the man. He says, "Speaking of Teku, is there a culture branded Teku?" What the fuck is that? It's a glass. Oh, we had some, didn't we? I don't a think culture brand, not a Teku. That was a Willie. Oh, uh, excuse me. They even got different. I didn't even know there was fucking names for them. Shit, <laughs> Teku. Who picks the damn name? I don't know what. Why that they person call it that. needs a whole fucking talking to. Is there a better beer that doesn't taste yeasty? The lagers aren't gonna taste yeasty. Um, Greek and lover. Sasson. What is it? That's yeast. That's a very yeast? yeasty beer. Yes. Why do you think all the that flavor? pepper and shit comes from? That's, That's from the yeast. My bad. I'm sorry. What do you mean when you say yeasty, uh, Greek and lover? What do you? It, if you tell me what you mean by it, said I can um direct you a little bit better. See, tell her again, Jeb. It's that weird wine glass looking fucking glass. Boom. Not for not for lockers. Now that's a better <laughs> fucking name than my, what was it? Fucking uh Tekasonic. What the hell was it? Teku. You yeah, had that's all a better motherfucking that I name. Fucking say. Sound like some damn Pikachu type shit. Like that. Wow, it's a fucking, Pokemon. Pokemon Pikachu, glass. That's what the fucking with a goofy ass lip on it. Lipstick Lager gave us some trivia about this glass. It's actually a combination of the two names of the people who invented it. Oh, okay. My fault. I still think it's a shitty name, but I don't need to mess with people's name. I mean, but it, is it tasting ready, Reekin Lover? Maybe she doesn't like the malt flavor. Maybe she wants a more uh, toasty or even roasty. Malty flavor, and it tastes less uh, doughy and and crackery than some of the lighter beers. If your mom likes coffee, maybe she can try. She maybe likes stout. stout. Excuse me, <laughs> Pikachu. I mean, she's not wrong. Jeb, don't encourage her acting fool. I'm here. Jeb. That shit sounds horrible. I'm about to do something real loud, y'all. Jeb, what in the entire fuck? <laughs> of all the glasses out there, that glass and the stupid butt plug looking IPA glass are the two dumbest ones. <laughs> Amy agreed. The Teku is bad luck for me because I break that shit. I need me a Willie. I need a tall Pilsner glass. Oh, Willie. Uh, loggers all day. These are my fucking name. This is a Willie. Oh. Willie Bletcher. That just looks like a fucking glass. It has a bend here to support the head. I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all know how important supporting the head is. I do know the glass you're talking about. 
Jeff. I know I, I do not own that. <laughs> I don't even drink IPAs like that. Tish said we got to put some damn respect on the tech. Take that shoe. I'll do that when we have a culture, a, a culture Pilsner glass, because that's what the fuck we have on, on tap regularly is that Keller pill. When you get a Pilsner glass, I'll stop talking shit about the tech. I'm uh, waiting on a culture <laughs> bracelet and our chain. Girl, I need a chain. We on some Rockefeller this shit. This is not Rockefeller. I ain't chain, chain. shit. You got a damn chain. Why I can't get a baby I'm chain? I'm sure we can order one. I'm sure we can make one. It's because I'm not on the board. They don't take any of my suggestions. Willy dilly. Come on, Ricky. You can't do me like that. Uh, Kristen says she uses stimulus wine glass. We have one one glass like that. April fucking takes it and uses it for juice and shit. It's so cute. That's why. Uh, but yeah, it, um, 16 ounce canvas uh, run by AJ Kieran's. He's one of the other board members on beer beer culture. But we have a glass of his and it's a stimulus um, stimulus glass. Agreed, Lipstick and Lager. It, teku is beautiful to take photos and treacherous as fuck to drink out of. <laughs> Who is our song about somebody broke? Where, where did that come from? He always talking <laughs> shit. $30 salmon. Uh, oh, Rick and I, I'm I'm just fucking with you. You you my homie for life. Anytime. Uh, I'm a I'm gonna have April send you my number. We need to keep in touch. And you said you said she graduated, right? Congratulations! Yeah, congratulations! And the whole girl got a whole new condo. Big money. The shit, we need to come over your house. Okay. You kind of come over here. <laughs> shit popping. Yeah, Regan Lover, we want to congratulate you for graduating, getting your degree. That's big proud as of you. That's um, big as fuck. Do your thing, education. You know how important that is to me. So I'm proud of you. I know you're going to do big things. You already are, shit. I mean, but there are more big things to come. She's going to be better, better, and better, and better. So I'm on my experimental type shit because I couldn't get the. Uh, recipe for my auntie. So we're going to do Greek yogurt. We're going to do some lemon juice. We're going to do pepper. We're going to do parsley and we're going to do thyme and we're going to see how that shit tastes. This is my first time doing it. This is uh, based on memory. We're going to see how this shit works. Also, I like to put a little lemon on my um, I'm about to say salmon cake. Salmon croquettes. So yeah, lemon is needed. Oh, really? You got a pool and shit? That's where we need to be. It's 100 and oh, something yeah, degrees yeah. out here. We coming over your house. Yeah, let's do that. Master's degree met next. I'm with it. I'm with it. You can never be overeducated. I am so fucking proud of you, bro. I I don't know how to express that without sounding drunk as fuck. But um, they are. I'm proud of you. That made me feel really good when April told me that you had graduated. Um... Like I said, you're going to do big things. And Tish said, how does she sponsor this shit? She needs some culture shit all over the channel. All right, next month I'm going to wear my culture hat. Um, shit, we should get like culture salt and pepper shakers and shit. All this can shit I can be culture. Right can oh, shit. Apron? Yeah, maybe we can order an apron and send them the logo and have them put it on there. Maybe we can do that. When and have you ever cooked in an apron? And this, I haven't, but I would. And this is for Tish. I need you to put together a fucking catalog of all of the shit I can order at once. I need a catalog, sis. Mm. All culture teams. Damn right, John. You're damn right. Oh, yeah, Regan Lover. April's been working on a, a cookbook um, with all her Cajun recipes and stuff. I'm excited for it. I've been um, tasked with pairing beer with it, but April actually is a better taster than I am. So she's better guess, at pairing beer, but she, the, the thing with her is she hasn't, 
he hasn't he doesn't try all no i i get stuck like right now i'm stuck on say something that shit go everything so i get stuck on shit so that's not good Jeff said, my fat ass is ready for that cookbook. <laughs> oh, Kira says she can't wait for the cookbook either. So get that ass to work. I'm going to get it. You drunk. <laughs> my bad is drunk. Because Kira, the whole thing is, um, in my opinion, craft beer completely like Black people are after afterthought. So when you read books and shit, how they pair food, it's none of our fucking food. And goofy people, me being that. messy, goofy motherfuckers, uh, have literally wrote, you have to spend money. No the fuck. Yeah, a fucking asshole black no person fuck, wrote out. that shit in okay. their book. <laughs> put, put some respect on my, my Cajun, my black food. We literally got the scraps and flipped that shit and made it into motherfucking cuisine. So put some respect on that shit. No the fuck you don't have to eat pretentious, rich ass motherfucking food. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, I had to let that out my spirits real quick. But yeah, I, I think uh, if you want beer to be more accessible, the pairings have to be more accessible. So you have to, you got to be able to pair beer, which it does. You have to have people pairing beer with shit that folks eat all day, eat at, eat at their house. So like the shit that she's cooking, we eat like this is how we eat. So And this is a cheap ass fucking meal. You don't need no goddamn filet mignon and duck and all Somebody that. Somebody said shit. roasted duck. And I'm like, why? Black people don't eat duck. I mean, some of us do, but that ain't a regular fucking thing for us. Like, come on. And I think beer can be paired with regular meals. And I think that is what is going to make it approachable to certain people. Because everybody bombs eats. And some collard greens will be lit as fuck. A lager and some collard greens. Bomb it depends what lager. I Tiny think bomb would be bomb I think uh, a saison would good do well with collard that greens. Too. John says he needs grilled cheese and tater tot pairings. I think we can do that. I love, love especially depending on how you do your grilled cheese. If you dipping it in the tomato soup or tomato some tomato shit, people do do that. People do that. But um, yeah. We can do that. We'll get it in the get it in the book. The food is almost done, y'all. I'm sorry. It's almost done. You sorry? These people seem pretty My active, mom. like they're enjoying themselves. I need another knife. I'm sorry. I gotta get my garnish. I'm being fancy. I gotta get my garnish together. What is this? What are? What is this? These are onions. Ugh. Scalloped onions. I agree, Arch. Um, R says saison is safe with so much black food, and the reason really is, is that the peppery flavor from the yeast in a saison also is going to mesh with the seasonings that black people use to season our, our food. So that's another that's one. a match made in heaven. What's Abby again? I'm sorry. Abby is a Belgian double. Okay, a Belgian double will also go good with motherfucking a uh, peach cobbler. Uh, yes, it would. Peach cobbler. I feel no, like it would go good with um, <laughs> pie. Which pie? Pecan pie. I feel like I it agree with that. I agree with that, Perry. Some um, like uh, so many of our our desserts. You know, I, I agree with the uh, I agree with the pecan pie. And you use um a Belgian double to make uh red beans and rice. Yes, yes. I'm also gonna be doing that in the cookbook. We're gonna be cooking with the beer too. These niggas. Oh, I'm sorry. These motherfuckers ain't ready. They not ready. You giving away all your cookbook they secrets. You need people to buy the book. That's why they I'm not, not telling. <laughs> it's going down in the cookbook. They not ready. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, Regan Lover is talking about saison, the spice. The spice. Saison. I don't. It's a. It's a Latinx spice. Yeah, you never cooked with that? It is. I've only used that one time, honestly. It's kind of like it puts you in the same class as cumin, right? Cumin? If I remember, yeah. Though that would go with the saison, the beer, too. Yeah, it does. Cobbler and the Belgian. She said Belgian double, the dark Belgian. Mm hmm. The seasoning. Mm -hmm. 
but she said <laughs> Regan Lover said you gotta get on that. We, the thing that was holding me back the most was a camera. So we're getting a fancy camera next month. I, mean, I am not a photographer. Um, I can make a set of parts. Uh, she gonna send us a picture of which one she uses for the say saison the spice. Okay, I would love to look at that. Yeah, I feel like we're having two conversations. I'll clarify for the comments because it seems right. to be back and forth. Saison is a spice that, you know, is a very ethnic to Puerto Rican culture. And there is also Cuban. Saison, the beer, which is a Belgian beer that has a lot of yeast flavor that is peppery and spicy. So I think those two things go together, but we are talking about two different things. Excuse me. You are doing the most. I'm in the kitchen. I got to cook the shit. How many more spoons you need? We'll take them out now. Didn't you just scoop one of them with a spoon? What did that? You use like eight spoons. First of all, who washes the dishes? The dishwasher. Who puts them in the dishwasher? The dishwasher. Boom. Anyway. Anyway. I'm making the damn sauce. I need a uh, tish to chill with the text messages. I'm going to spit out my very good beer. I have to talk to Tish about the name. Later. Oh, we have a whole conversation about spice. I'm so sorry, y'all. I um, I am not the cook, so how folks are using spices is not my not my jam. Oh, you sent it to me, Tony. Uh, she drunk. She done called you, Tony. Well, that's what it says. I was reading. Where you sent it to me at? Just checking Twitter, making sure if somebody who can't comment is trying to comment, I um, acknowledge them. Show April. Where did you send it, Rican Level? Facebook? Or maybe Instagram. Can you check your Instagram? The old Instagram? I got a thousand. Insta. Okay. Let's oh, go to Insta. Insta. I'll be knowing. You were correct. Okay. This is what this is what she Yeah. Said. Okay. Is there a different brand? Or oh, shit. <laughs> I'm not trying to be messed. I'm just saying, is there a different brand that you could recommend? Yeah, I, just, I that's what I just showed her, Regan. She got the Walmart picture. That's where you get it. So it goes with everything. My granny loves Walmart. She tricked my mom into taking her into the Walmart. Okay, I'm fucking with this. What is it? This is gonna be my sauce that I use on top for my fried green tomatoes. So what's in the sauce? We have three dollops of Greek yogurt. We have lemon juice, thyme, parsley, pepper. I'm about to hit it with a little bit of Creole seasoning because it needs it needs some Creole in it. So, and I'm just letting the fried green tomatoes um they're pretty much drained. I'm gonna show y'all that in a minute, and I'm doing the last four of my patties, and then we gonna eat three more minutes, y'all. I probably should be reading these messages. I got fucking messages. For randos. Don't ink, message ink. Tony on Instagram because she will hit you back five weeks later. No, it's like, I mean, some of the messages are valid, but some of them are increase your follower account by doing I'm like, what? What is this? Oh, uh, Paul's from the Midwest. Paul, are you, if we come to Wisconsin, are you willing to, to beer crawl with us and show us all of your favorite beer places? Can't see. I would love that. I Man. want some damn cheese curds. Oh yeah, cheese curds. If you can tell us where to do the cheese curds, that would be all. That would be dope as well. Paul is my boo. 
Paul is that type of friend that before I see someone say some stupid shit, he done already cussed him out for me, and I just have to do the follow-up cuss out. That's Paul. That's oh, what's bad. good, Virginia? Virginia is on the Sis! line. Sis! <laughs> my Same. She says yes to the Wisconsin beer crawl. Okay, so I'm doing that, so I'm going to do a sip of sauce. You from Kansas, Regan? I didn't know that. For real? Oh, Kristen says NY cheese curse for the win. I don't know where, but y'all ain't got no where the cows at. Shit, the cows are in the said, Where the cows? The at? cows is in the Midwest eating the, eating the nice grass instead of corn. <laughs> wow, where the cows at, babe? I mean, uh, the closer you are to the cows, the better right. cheese you can get. You get better milk, you get better cheese. Your cow is happy if it's eating grass and not corn. This motherfucker said, where the cows at? Jeb said he's going to go see Virginia today. Oh, at Beer Miscuous? That's another Chicago spot. We were oh, upstate there. New York is cow country. Well, if you upstate, yeah, I've been upstate there. That's fancy. Young. Upstate New York seems fancy. No, I mean, they, a lot of smaller towns. I've been to Rochester and Albany a couple of times. Schenectady is a place I've also been in upstate New York. New Glarus incurs when I'm rolling through New Wisconsin. So New Glarus is something that, or a place that people recommend all the time. We're plating, y'all. Oh, oh, okay. Should I show them this? Um, you can. So this is April. Or actually, I don't know why I signed up to show y'all this because I'm not going to describe it properly. She has some, um, and I'm fucking up already, fucking up her presentation, but some, some chopped onion, I guess, green onions. These are the fried green tomatoes with the onions, and that's all I can um, tell you about that. With her special cornmeal. She's plating the croquettes right now. Oh, Paul says he would accept everyone with well, with open arms. Because he's a freaking sweetheart. Well, we're going to hit you up if we, you know, once we're able to go to the Midwest again. And we'll do Chicago plus, uh, you know, yeah. Madison and some places in Wisconsin. And maybe even places. down to Kansas City as well. I got to try Kansas City barbecue because y'all be putting on for the barbecue. We can say April low key throwing down, making you making her hungry. Some lemon wedges to make my shit look. So like Jeff said he almost ended up at RPI. I knew some folks that went to RPI. I went to a WPI in Worcester for undergrad, but I I know some folks from Memphis who ended up going from going to RPI. Virginia cosigns for New Glarus. She's drooling over the fried green tomatoes. Oh, my shit look pretty, y'all. I got to take a picture real quick. Oh, Paul is in Green Bay. I don't know if we can be friends with Paul anymore. Why? I'm sure he is a, a Packer. Oh, smoker. you're a cheesehead. Yeah. That's what I used to like the Packers. Yeah. Ooh. April when just, I got married. AKA and, is what she would yeah, say if she wanted see, to be divorced. She should be iking me, so I can't like the Packers. I'm going to take my pictures and we're going to show y'all. Oh, John said best barbecue he's had is in in Kansas City. Everybody put on for that barbecue. I have to try it. I've never tried it before. So once everyone is free, Chicago and Wisconsin. Oh, Lord, we, we'll tear up these, these places. Are you taking pictures? Yes. Okay. I well, should look pretty. Once Everybody she finishes taking the pictures, I'm going to... Taste the salmon. Croquette. What happened to the? Did you spill? The shit? It was an accident. I say I admitted it as soon as I did it. Okay. Okay. So these are the croquettes. Let me move the thing down, baby. With some um. No, I don't do that because then I'll put it back, put back. But yeah, these are the salmon croquettes. She put lemons and shit on here. What is the lemon supposed to do? You put it on the. Oh, you squeeze it on these, apparently. So and 
what's this green stuff? Parsley. There is parsley garnish on these, and they are fried in butter, and I am going to eat them. What's supposed to get dipped in this? That you're not gonna like that. I already know you. You can try it, but I already know you, and I feel you're not gonna like that. Um, here is my dipping sauce that I'm making. That I made: Greek yogurt, pepper, thyme, parsley, and a little bit of Creole seasoning. Let's get into it. I need a fork. What's the um? What's the orange sauce that I be liking? The orange sauce. Sometimes it's like calamari. Sometimes oh, it's cocktail it's, sauce. It's red. This is not cocktail sauce, girl. Stop. What I'm you mad know? you tried to play me. It's like ramalade or ramala or some shit. It's called yeah, I don't know with the star about. with an R. But if there's an ramala. orange. Or, or some shit. I, you supposed to know you. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you talking. But um, it's an orange. We the fried chicken at the Japanese place goes in it. That fried chicken. Maybe they that mix that concoction. That's not something you buy in a store. But I've seen it several places. Uh, I never seen that shit. So. The Louisiana dip stuff. Am I talking about a hazy IPA? Remoulade, she says. See, I'm not crazy. I'm, I'm not, not crazy. Not I don't know what the hell y'all talking well, about. I'm eating. You said this was for this, and you put it on. I'm gonna try it. Let me live my life. I'm eating. Lord. You made a bunch of these. It's Matt. Next time. <laughs> Jim says hazy IPA. <laughs> I fucked up the fried green tomatoes in the sense that I didn't make them, I didn't slice them thick enough. But that's okay, they're still good, but I fucked that up. This is good. Neither How you feel? I like these. What? Did you squeeze lemon on She says most remolas are mayo based. That's April on here talking shit about mayo, it's not me. Who said that? What I don't I don't eat mayo on its own, don't get me wrong, but no, eat it, sis. But you eating it, you dipped shit in that orange sauce. I know it's mayo in it. Now you done fucked it up for me. Now I don't eat it. They use it on shrimp public. Yes, they do. I I don't. I worked at a very um big rocket factory in Hawthorne, California. Space Center. Thank you for that information. And one of the lunches was a uh, catfish po'boy, and they had that sauce on it as well there. When I have po'boys, I just need me some hot sauce. I don't like mayo on my shit. I don't like that sauce on shit. I just want hot sauce. Well, Paul says he was forged in Michigan. Are you a founders person? Don't disrespect the homie like that. Founders? No. Paul. Oh, fuck founders. That's where founder is. That is Michigan. But they racist ass. But so yeah, y'all, get into this and check the. I, I wish I could show you. We need a fucking camera. The salmon is bomb. It's on oh, the inside. Thick. Yeah, you can show it. Now that we've cut into this one, the one we cut into there, you can see what it looks like. April got this uh, cream sauce shit all over on that one. It's bomb. You know the food good when you start to the shoulders move. When the shoulders move, your food hit. It hit. Oh, Paul, you're a Lions fan? Uh, These are bomb. So people are complimenting you on this. Uh, Thank y'all. This dish. I think croquettes are good for brunch. They're also good for dinner. You didn't go either way? That's how I was served these as a child. I didn't like it when I was little, but I like it now, apparently. I haven't had these since I was a kid, since I said I didn't like them. But I guess my palate has changed since I've grown up a bit. But, yeah. This would taste good with that orange sauce, remoulade. I, how you say it? Somebody put, yeah, like, the pronunciation shit. in there. Yeah, it. <laughs> it said it got mayo in it. Why y'all snitching? See, you fucking up my whole vibe. It will snitching never be telling her there's mayo in it. It's a whole vibe killer. And Jeb said, "Taste to grow up the same as we do." Rim a lot. Why y'all tell her it was mayo in it? I ain't gonna be able to get none. Show See, you fucking up, blowing on my spot. Jamie says Dan was born and raised on a dairy farm and. 
North Country, New York. Oh, wow. This is so good, y'all. Ray Moon. Where the beer at? Ray Malad. Where the beer? What beer do you want? A beer. I want to pair. What beer do you, would you like to pair? I don't know. You the beer person? You're the taster. I'm your favorite. Those big bottles of beer that couldn't fit in your beer fridge. What so, about the peach beer? Tony. Yes or no? no. So, Tony, we got Tony um, a beer fridge so I can have that fridge back. If I show y'all the door, what is this? Oh, you can't even see him. What's All these name? big ass beers like this that can not fit. What's berry and berry? I don't like I'm nothing berry. That is not clean. No fruit. Golden Shit. sour? No. You have more like, you remember Tiny Bomb or something? I do have Tiny Bomb. Yeah. Yeah. Come on here every month and pair everything right. with Tiny Bomb. But all, I just don't want her to use something that got berry and fruit that's not going to go good with the fish. No. I will give you one of my tiny bombs because I can care for you. What? I think we should pair things more. I'll go to the store before the next one. Okay. Let's see. I can open it under my nails. I'm just give it to my okay. hand. So yeah, me personally, I wouldn't put any sour, anything with fruit, unless it's citrus. Citrus might work. I still wouldn't do it. It might work, but you don't want anything to compete with the fucking um, fish taste. Fish and fruit. Uh, see you later, Paul. Bye, Paul. See you Bye, later, Tish. Bye, Tishy. See you later, Jeb. Bye, Babs. Thank you for coming. Oh, I get the big. Well, you have to have an appropriate glass for this. It I used my Pilsner uh, glass last night, so it uh, will be washed. So this is Hey Kira, if you're still on here. I'll be getting some head. Get, get, get some head. We're not going to sing that on here. Head. That's your time. You lucky I love you because I don't give those up. That's my one of my favorite beers, top five beer for me. See, this is us on Zoom. See what she's doing? Barbara Mata. What you doing? You know Barbara Mata? Is that your government? Do you go by something else? Explain the head this time. Yeah, this is this, this is the head. She drunk some of it, but this white part at the top is considered it's the head. head. It's supposed to go up to the top. Well, she drunk some of it now. Get it is some head. Get it is some head. See you like it. Oh, that's Barbie. What's up, girl? Barb! Barbie's my sis. Where the hell you get this my name? Sis is. Ma, ma, what's, where did the name, where did the, the YouTube name come from? <laughs> hey from Utah. Say hi to my brother Lou. Uh, yeah, the <clears throat> Regan's lover sis. Miss your ass. Yeah, they know we know. Oh, she telling her that you miss her. I miss her too. My sis moved to like. Oh, no. Thanks for joining. Really Thanks for joining us, John. Um, we do this once a month. Um, Y'all can subscribe to our Patreon. It's uh, patreon.com backslash culture creations. You spell both with a K at the beginning. Um, you can. You can join for as little as five dollars a month to and support these kinds of. Uh, the next tier um, is where I give you guys a shopping list, and we cook together. We make the meal together. I think that's what fifty dollars. Ten fifty. It's, it's more than five, but it still ain't a lot. See you later, lipstick logger. Bye, babe. Thank you for coming. See you later, Kira. Bye, boo boo. I'm gonna DM you later. But yeah, I yeah. But if you want to see more stuff like this, we do this publicly once a month for everybody. Um, also, once a month, our our all access and VIP members have the opportunity to cook with April if they so choose. We give them the recipe ahead of time, and there's a scheduled day where April cooks a particular meal and. 
we get on Zoom, we see people. Then the VIPs is like, we do a one-on-one, which no one has taken up yet, but like, it's literally just me and you talking shit and cooking, and it's easier for you to ask questions and shit like that. But yeah, I appreciate all y'all for coming, hanging out with us. This one was long as shit. This one was long. Cause we on here talking too damn much. What do you mean we? But, um, I appreciate all y'all for coming and hanging out with us. If you guys make the recipes, please tag me. So I love to see what y'all, your rendition of them. If you're anything like me, you remix and tweak and shit. And I want to see. So tag me or tag the um, Culture Creations page so I can post y'all. And all the glory and all the food glory. Yeah, somebody but, posted and tagged you in the shrimp and grits. Yeah, Tish did and my boo, Sasha. And who else? That was it, right? I think that was Wilson. No, I think it was, Sta- did I say Tish? Tish did too. Tish did it. I don't know if she tagged you in it. But uh, yeah, yeah Sasha did. tagged you in it. But yeah, if you guys let her, Amy. Bye, Amy. But we probably gonna head out too. Yeah, I'm gonna finish um, fucking up a salmon croquette. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting us. We love you. Till next time, guys. See y'all later. So now you like them. They're good.